Welcome to this episode of Home Built Workshop. Today, I'm gonna to use some reclaimed pine pallet wood to build some cool storage crates. I've got these pine boards that I reclaimed from some pallets about a year or so ago. I think it's finally time to use them up. I'll start off on the table saw, cutting everything down to size. I'm gonna to try to cut everything down all in one shot. My crosscut sled and a stop block make quick work of cutting the parts down. Now I've got my pile of pieces here. I've got a stack of fronts and backs and a pile of slats that I'm gonna use for the side. Had to make a few extra ones because some of them, the cuts fell right on a knot and they ended up breaking. So luckily, it's just some free pallet wood. Got plenty of extras. Now I'm gonna begin laying out the cuts that I'm gonna to make to the front and the back. I'm gonna mark out to round the corners. And I'll also mark out where I'm going to cut the handles. This piece here has got a really loose knot. Might have to fix that with some epoxy later. Now I'll just cut the corners off on the bandsaw. Now I'll just connect the dots using my jigsaw. I'll clean up the cuts using a sanding spindle. And a little bit of filing. For the bases, I'm just going to use some scraps of plywood, and I'll just rip them down to width. Now I'll just give all the sides a quick sanding. Before I sand this last piece, it's got a knot right here at the edge of the handle. I'm going to stabilize that with some CA glue. A little shot of activator will harden that up real quick. Now I can begin the assembly on these piles of pieces. I got my pin nailer loaded up. I'm not going to do anything fancy for these. Just going to rely on the glue mainly to hold everything together. It's going to be plenty strong. Okay, so the pins are not working out so well, so I'm gonna go back to the clamps. Not sure if they're not long enough or what. It's not holding. 
Clamps it is. I guess I'll just have to do a few separate small glue ups. Once I get this glued together, I think I can put the rest together with the pins because it's only going to be going into these thin strips. Just add a little bit of glue to the slat, stick it in place, and I'll secure these with a couple of pins. Now I've cut a spacer block that has the right spacing that I want to use on these slats. So all I need to do now, add a little bit of glue to the ends, and using my spacer block, I'll align the slat. When the polyurethane's dry, now I got a bunch of nice little storage crates. I plan to use these in the house on a bookshelf to hold some of my daughter's things. I think these are going to work really well. She'll be able to pull them out, use what she needs, and put things away, keep everything stored. This is a fun little project. The cool thing about these is you can customize them to fit whatever space you have. You can make them longer, wider, taller, narrower doesn't matter you can customize it make it fit for the space that you have make it fit your needs so everyone thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this project these little wooden storage crates if you did and you enjoyed it please give the video a big old thumbs up i really would appreciate it also you can follow me on social media i'll put links down below in the description also don't forget you can subscribe to my second youtube channel it's called inside home built workshop i'll put a link to that as well in the description i've also been doing a lot of work to my website homebuiltworkshop.com if you get a chance head on over there check it out again link in the description so thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you next time How many of you have ever started sanding without a sanding pad? And run out of pins at the same time. Ah, man. Ah, glue. Apparently glued these things down to my work table. <sighs> Oof. Well, pulled some of that uh, table up. Ah, it's fine. If you have a longer space or you need a wider, sh uh, blah, 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 blah.